Hi guys, eat my baby here. Today we're gonna have a look at the jellyfish by Vapjoy. This is the box it comes in. Mm, not much on the side, black silver. Come back to colours. It's not a toy. Information how to contact them and on the back you've got what's inside the box. Scratch and check. So if we go inside the box. We've got a couple of vape bands. You get your coil cleaning brush. The usual screwdriver that's coming out of everything there. Spare glass tank, yeah. Um, a bag with o rings and grub screws in it. And then you get the main RTU. Put all the rest away. And here it's here. And on the bottom, it's a brass pin, non adjustable. Uh, designed and manufactured by Vapjoy Jellyfish. Right. Height from the top of the drip tip to the bottom is 38. It's 24mm diameter. Um, if I take the drip tip off, it's one piece you have to use it. Standard 510 doesn't fit in. So you've got from the top to the bottom without the drip tip, and not including this threaded part, is about 29mm. So that's your drip tip. That's the one that comes with both the black and the stainless steel. The only difference that I have found or can see. As obviously all the black is stainless steel, apart from the O-rings. Right, so, we've got your two fall holes up the top here. At its widest point, um, I get to be 12.5 by 3.5 on both sides. I'll take this off. And it's alright. If you look in there, you can see you've got four slots. That's your juice. There is no juice for control on this. Um, this is one solid piece. I can't get it separated. You have got an O ring in the top there, which stops the juice coming past your drip tip. And you've got one underneath as well, which your glass goes against. You've got glass. Um, then you've got your air flooring. Goes in focus. On the bottom, if you look there, you've got an extra cut out just there. That's so it doesn't rotate all the way around when it's on this. So if you look there, you can see a wee bit sticks up. That's where that groove goes into and it stops it fully rotating. You've got your air slot there, which is 8mm by 1.7mm and on the deck, the air hole is 5 by 3. Um, got your juice holes there. And there's four of them. And I get them to be 2.5. Yeah, wick holes is 2 mil. Grab screws are on the side, so it's just like a velocity still yet. Two 
two rings there. One's for your FO ring. And when you're putting this back on, you're best to line up your air slots and that way it's on. And once it's together, it won't go past the stop. Just because there's no pressure on it, you can put it past it. Um, you've got your rick holes down the side there, down the four sides. You've seen my rick similar decks, so I'm not going to bother you with that. Um, on this piece, if you notice, that's threaded and it threads into there. So from where my finger is up, it's going to have juice in it all the way around, all the time. So there's no juice flow, as I said. Right, so. You have to empty your tank to change the deck, or to change your cotton coil, um, because the glass sits inside your base, but only sits against the o-ring there. So anytime you want to change your bulb or cotton, make sure your tank's empty. Because as much as I've tried, I can't keep the glass against the top and unscrew it. It always comes away. Right, so I'm going to coil this up and I'll get you up top. Right guys, up top with jellyfish by Vapjoy. Um, I'll have a wait to start with. Got my A1 at the moment. Um, right. <clears throat> I said I'd come back to the colours and drip tips. When I ordered this, there was only the black and the stainless steel versions available. And between me getting it and doing this review, they've now got more in. So you can get it how I've got it or stainless steel fully. Um, you also get stainless steel body and the glass has got the queer with the spare queer or you can get in blue, red or yellow glass with a spare queer glass or you get it like that and instead of it being this drip tip it's a epoxy resin drip tip which slopes up and obviously the hole in the centre has got to be the same. It will start off thin and come out right the same as this one. I don't know if I showed you that in the close-ups, but hopefully. So it does taper out as it gets closer to the top. Um, you don't have the choice of the colour of resin drip tip. That's the most downside on them. But they are there if you want them. I'll put links in the description to them all below the video so you can just click on it and go to it. Um, right, so this holds two modules, which isn't much when you're on a 0 0.46 ohm coil. And that's only 25 watts. Mm, the flavour from this is good. Mm, the draw, that was fully open there, which is a long hit. And if I reduce it to about that much, it gives me a restricted long hit. Halfway. 
it's still a wee bit restricted um, but I find for me that's where I get the best flavour whereas it's half open yeah I don't know if you can see that um, but that's where I found to get the best flavour for the bulb that I've got in it at the moment depends on your bulb, depends how much airflow you'll need to get the best flavour from it and your wattage and whatnot as well um, I've purchased this from Fast Tech it's a good wee tank um, just wish capacity was more but for the size of it and how it vapes it's actually pretty good and for everything that you get with it uh, the vape bands your coil cleaner and also a spare glass tank and your o-rings and that it's pretty good value for money um, so that's the review for the jellyfish I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you soon bye just now